I started taking an interest in police work at a pretty young age. In 1986, I got hired by the Portland Police Bureau and uh, spent just about 26 years there. Taking care of the community, it's really our number one priority. That's what police work was for me. Around March, I was having a lot of stomach trouble. So I went to my doctor. When I was examining Tom, um, I heard a very loud murmur. The results of the echocardiogram, you know, conferred that, yeah, this is bad. It's now leaking and regurgitating 40% of my blood flow the wrong direction through my mitral valve. This was, um, you know, emotionally kind of a devastating diagnosis. Well, I was frightened. It's like, you know, as a police officer, we, we face all kinds of external threats and we're trained to deal with those. But this was inside and I had no control over it. Tom, luckily, after evaluation, was found to be a good candidate for a robotic mitral valve repair. They went in, Dr. Malloy, I have a ton of respect and gratitude toward him. I know that the surgery wasn't an easy one, but that he persevered and finished the, the surgery without having to open my chest. After surgery, Tom did very, very well. Um, basically, he was ready for discharge in two days. What's hard, though, is that transition from the time that they leave the protective environment of the hospital with the nurses there, the doctors there, everybody you know looking after him 24-7, to being home by themselves. I was, in a way, happy to go, but in a way, sad to kind of say goodbye to some of the people that were around there. It's probably for the patient the most vulnerable period of their health care. Patients are physically challenged sometimes with their recoveries. They're emotionally challenged experiencing something new for the first time and sometimes also spiritually challenged. Having a doctor and, and a nurse call you uh, to check up on you after you're released from the hospital gives you a sense that they really care. They want to know if there's anything you need. You know, how are you feeling? It just makes you feel appreciated as a patient, um, that they genuinely are interested in your health. So what we're trying to do is to fill this important gap in patient care because it really, under traditional medical care, is, is not anybody's direct responsibility. There's no funding for it. Um, from Medicare or health insurance companies. What we're trying to do is to create a more seamless, comprehensive care of patients from the time they come in the door the first time, if they're hospitalized, that transition back to home, and then make sure they have adequate and thorough follow-up afterward. I think in Tom's particular case, it was very rewarding for everybody on the team to help a hero in our community who protects ourselves, that we were able to give him his life back to me, it's the best of all possible outcomes on this whole thing. You know, I'm fairly young and now I have a healthy heart and I can go back to the sport I love and I've been cleared to, for full activity. This is why some of us go into medicine. Uh, you know, we can do a lot of things, but to be able to help people through these periods of time and to get them back on the road to recovery and living useful lives is really um, you know, what makes us feel good at the end of the day.